Technique Tuesday comes round really fast, doesn't it? This journey, this technique idea is one that is perpetual and it should be enjoyable. It shouldn't be a kind of strict regime that you have to stick to. And and so it's quite interesting this week that we've come to this point. I've been kind of working systematically through the five essentials. Number four, as you know, is lip trills. So this will be interesting because generally speaking, and I don't know how you feel, but people either love or they hate lip trills. And when they first meet them, they can't believe I'm really asking them to do this thing. And they can't really see how they are connected to your idea, your concept of airflow and introducing the idea of what we magically call support. Let's just let's just get our bearings. Remember, breath takes itself. Release that abdominal tension and let it all flow. That seems fairly straightforward, but this idea, this notion that breath takes itself and that it could be just abdominal tension that is in the way of a successful intake of air and to just let it all flow, you know, what does that actually mean? It does not mean to, an idea of drop-off, it's actually about enabling, allowing this system of air coming and going and then engaging with it, that's mainly what it's saying. Okay, confused? It's funny how little pockets of inspiration and progress suddenly arrive because um, and it can happen any time. You know, it's like a um, eureka moment, you know, that we're all searching for. And for Sophie, she had a really good lesson the other day on Saturday. Um, we were working on all the same things, but there was just one moment in her lesson when suddenly she got it. She says, Very momentarily I experienced what it is like to sing freely on a top G and it felt great. From the lesson I also now have a number of pointers to avoid getting into the mad panic whereby I continue singing even though I have lost the physical connection with the breath. This ties in with the infographic. Release that abdominal tension and let it all flow. She's realized in her comment she's saying that what was happening was and she was releasing that abdominal, that physical tension that's so necessary, that kind of new inspiration, the intake of air and getting those muscles in your lower back and your lower rib cage to um, start working. Every intake of breath is another chance to get together our alignment of energy Think of the breath take and the opening of the throat in readjusting to sing as one gesture. Now, there's a lot in there to look at, a lot in there to consider. Now hopefully you can see where the two infographics, they really, one is like the first idea of thinking about your airflow and the second one, the more detailed one, including um, Esther Salomon's notion of the inspiration idea is more in depth and it's what we're actually going for. Sometimes you just have to take one idea, one idea and run with that when you're doing your warm-ups, when you're doing your own practice, to try to focus on one thing, which is why today's infographic about airflow and remembering that it's it's um it's a natural occurrence to let air in okay breath takes itself because i still witness this amongst you all and i'm also very guilty of this when under pressure to take that hasty breath to not give the body enough time to not make that the discipline so you know it's always worth revisiting these very basic um basic ideas the five essentials really are so golden because as long as you keep revisiting them then you're still sort of touching the very basics of the toolbox you're opening up the lid and looking at your five tools reminding yourself without getting too complicated okay remember breath takes itself release that abdominal tension and let it all flow and the second one, every intake of breath 
is another chance to get together our alignment of energy and this is what Sophie was experiencing. Think of the breath intake, the breath take as the opening of the throat in readjusting to sing as one gesture. That's the holy grail, that's what we're going for. Okay? Alright, so plenty of stuff to think on in there. That's all from me for today. Any kind of vocal warm-up, whenever you do that, it doesn't have to be very long. It should not have to be a long, arduous task. Maybe a bit focused on certain things. Now, as you know, I believe in the five essentials, which is posture, breathing, onset, lip trills, because they involve all of the first three things, and then sirening or the NG hum. So we might not get through all of those this afternoon, but what I want to give you in these 30 minutes or so is something to refer to and sing along with, perhaps on your own. Okay, so number one, when you're doing any kind of warm up, you have to be in the right frame of mind, okay? And it doesn't matter if you're doing something else, but you're doing lip trills at the same time, say, but you're actually really focusing on what you're doing bodily. Because, of course, we, we are uh, very inclined to adopt habits, uh, which are not always good for us vocally. So you have to be have a little bit of presence of mind. You know, if things start to go slightly awry, you have to stop and pull yourself back to concentrating on what you're doing. So... A vocal warm-up can be short, but it's got to be focused, bring your attention back to the issues that you're really concentrating on, okay? All right, so let's, let's begin. Number one, just for you, where you are in this moment, you can either be sitting down as I am at the piano, or you can be standing, but one thing we must just think about is any tension that you may have harboured in your body somewhere, okay? any tension where you might have you know physical issues going on and what we want to avoid is any kind of tension in your shoulders and in your neck okay and actually in probably the lower part of your back so why sitting down for me is really good because it makes me just tuck my coccyx under all right so um you think about that first of all okay just just get in the zone just make sure that you have no you know shake your hands out just twist move your shoulders maybe raise your arms up just make yourself bodily aware okay all right because posture is of course really important and i just in a moment when we've done a couple of exercises give you a, a sort of mental pause i want to read you something from one of the books that i have upstairs in the study i uh, brought it down here it's right there okay so now as you're getting into the zone as we call it in virtually vocalese you're getting into the zone you're starting to focus a little bit more i want you to start thinking about your breath Okay, and I want you to encourage the breath to come and go, <clears throat> initially, just nice and freely. And what you're focusing on is what's happening down here in the lower part of your rib cage. Okay, as the breath comes in and leaves, I want you to really so this is you and your warm up, you're just kind of tuning in to what your body's saying. Okay, you invite the air in and you just let it go. You feel that movement in your lower ribs and what you should not see here is any kind of idea or indication that you are moving up and down. Okay, all right, so once you've got that, once you've got that sort of ebb and flow idea through an open throat, so encourage your mouth to be open as you're doing your start of your warm up. And let the air come and go through an open throat. Okay, just nice and gently. You're not doing any specific exercise. So that you can feel from the inside out what's going on. Okay, now when you are ready, we'll go through, well, when you are ready, 
you can start to go through the breathing exercise, which if you've worked with me before, you know what that is. And it is very simply just organising what happens between two exhalations, the breath in the middle. Okay, so we do the exhalation twice through, inviting the air in at the start and in between is the really important one. And then we just practice how we release and let go at the end. Okay, so I will do it. You don't have to keep up, up to speed with me. You can do it at your own pace. Okay, so when you're ready, I'm going to start in just a moment, but you can follow me or you can just kind of echo what I do a little bit later. Okay, you might watch and just kind of let it happen for you. So, old air out, number one. You feel that emptying, allow the air in. And out it goes. Nice gentle one there, not too long. It's not a it's not a it's not a race, it's not see how long you can do, it's actually about the feelings. Hi Debbie, I see you're watching. Okay, um now the focus on any breathing exercise like that is the breath in the middle because your body is saying, Oh, I, I I'm running out of air here, so one tends to panic, but you've got to let that breath go right to the ultimate point where you then allow that spring, that contraction to go and through an open throat and a kind of surprised, happy feeling inside, right? You invite the air in and you do it again. And this of course is, is emulating what we do in songs, how we recover between phrases. And the number one thing to remember is you have to let that natural contraction where all the air is gone, hold it, kind of poise feeling and then release to get the air to be sucked in by like a kind of vacuum. Okay, so let's just think about that one more time. Remembering you're still thinking about your posture, whether you're sitting, it's perfectly okay to sit and do this exercise, or standing, you are thinking primarily about your posture as well, okay? You've got the breathing thing going on, but you're checking all the time that point of balance. This is in your warm-up, which need not be very long or arduous. You are waking up your singer body okay because you are your instrument okay so now let's just get really repoised rethinking quite natural just try to make sure you've got a nice neck extension there by, by thinking of your head moving forward and up so there's your crown where my finger is here and you just want to make sure that you're not upwards like that but actually more the reverse you have this feeling of your crown being the thing that is leading. And you get a lovely stretch up here and then through the back and down into your sitting bones. Okay, so all day out. Here we go. To the point of nothing left, nothing left, but you've not collapsed. Invite the air back in. And... to the end of your breath. I've naturally come to a close whenever you feel that's no good, I've got to stop now. Okay, and what you should be taking in as you're warming up on your own is you are just checking out how your body feels. And the breath in between those two exhalations, this one here, is the one where you often get a much better response from your body, sort of refilling up with the air. And that is the response ultimately any singer wants to happen. You don't want to see a, a big kind of movement here where, where we call clavicular breathing. Your clavicle is here. We don't want to see a great big up and down of your chest either. As singing, we have to kind of be very good at illusion, you know, bluffing as to how hard work it is. All right, so that's about 
your posture, I'll come back to posture in just a moment, but for now we've just thought about the breathing. This is you and your warm up. What comes next? Just let me move my book. Uh, what comes next? Okay, well, I know that we said lip trills are number four. Okay, but we've already talked about posture and breathing. Next in my essential five comes onset. Okay, so onset is where your vocal folds come together for the first time and they actually make sound. That's the point of onset. Okay, now we could get very hooked up on onset. Um, I think Sue's mentioned earlier that um, onset was her Achilles heel. Okay, and I asked you to think about why that might be, Sue's because of your history going back you know and it'd be nice to know how you feel about that period of your life when you had to make all of those adjustments because of your voice so onset would come next but sometimes people get a bit worked up about this idea of making a good balanced onset so next we're going to dive in with lip trills okay because they are very muscular they're very kind of get you going we're now sort of coming towards halfway point of a quick warm-up so lip trills are a great way of diving in now I don't know how successful you feel your lip trills are if you can't actually do you can always try doing rolled R's which I cannot do or you can try doing anything that requires that by the way it was I was supposed to be making you think about resistance but that's a whole other chapter um, you can do vv, okay, you could do, alright, you could do vv, but people often get confused with that. I love the good old lip drill. Anything that causes you to have resistance to the airflow, but not constriction. This is why lip drills are so great, because they offer the best of all things. So let's have a go. <clears throat> now we've got mixed voices here. I think today we've got a soprano, a mezzo, a Debbie, I'm assuming you're a mezzo, are you, and Suze, where are you in all of this mix? This is for you to work out, but here we are, I'm sort of playing B flat major. So we're just below middle C, let's go down one more to A major. I'm going to do lip trills up and down a fifth. And you might remember, if you've worked with me before, the importance of sliding up and down because you want all these little intrinsic muscles in here to be doing their passing the baton you know you don't want any kind of sudden jolts okay let's give it a whirl and see how you do all right so this is you in the middle of your your warm-up you're feeling pretty good i think you've got it sussed your posture is good i'm going to try lip trills up and down a fifth we'll do a whole sequence here we go ready and right and you'll know how they went or how they didn't so it might mean that you have to do a bit of work on your lip trills to get that lovely kind of connection this lovely feeling of balance and certainly what you shouldn't feel is that you're driving air to get up to the top it should feel like a little pendulum thing going on okay and hardly aware of the breath that you need in between okay you're just opening the throat taking in more air and then getting back on board. All right, so uh, no one's making any comments, which is really unusual because within VV, Virtually Vocalese, on a Saturday morning, we have something like 50 comments by the time we've finished, which is very interesting for me. It gives me lovely feedback. So even a thumbs up would be great. All right, so that's just a fifth, and we covered from the A below middle C. 
and we went up to I think we finished around uh, the top note would be an E so that's um, that's uh, 8, 9, 10, 11 notes 12 notes okay so it's a quite a nice kind of stretch over that it's in a warm-up okay but ultimately you will want to stretch your voice higher now you cannot stretch your voice by pushing you'll get constriction every time you allow a breath in with that lovely kind of inviting we call it light behind the eyes kind of idea okay you're encouraging your the diaphragm flattens it does it naturally you cannot put it there hopefully it's working 24 7 down it goes okay and at the same time your larynx goes into a nice relaxed position it sits rather low as soon as your larynx rides high that's when you get what we call constriction in here and the relationship between your jaw your tongue and your neck you know it's very important and the muscles that really govern what we do with our jaw we think they're all here but actually the strongest ones are under here and this can lead to constriction so ideally the simple scenario is as you breathe in you're thinking oh all right kind of like inviting the air in for the next breath so encouraging the larynx down and the flat the diaphragm just flattens out quite normally and comes up as you're doing the exercise and it's all like a lovely choreographed dance okay that's the ideal now we're going to go back to our lip trills but this time we're doing the octave <laughs> etc so this is more arduous because you're going a greater distance and you may feel a little bit kind of concerned that you're not going to be able to pull it out of the bag don't know because your voices these days debbie yours especially and sue's i don't know your voices as well as i know sue sue louis and sophie um i don't know your voices as well as i know their voices and i know how they react i can almost see their faces in my head okay so you will have to give me some feedback after this live session um, and I can offer some sort of some some ways to get around these issues all right so here we go back down to lip trills and you're still warming up you're feeling a bit more adventurous and you're thinking okay let's go for the octave even balanced no pushing air no funny expressions okay here we go ready and coming in that's fine all right so how was that so you've done you've done you've done a progressive kind of um, where you're going in your head with your warm-up you should at this feel point feel that aha uh -huh, I'm I can see what my issues are okay and the, pa the paragraph that I wanted to read you from this book which is an excellent book I don't know if you know it but here we're talking about um, the upright design of the human being. And he says, remember I just told you that the larynx moves up and down. It's actually suspended. It's not attached to the human skeleton at all. It's just held there in place by lots of little muscles and ligaments and things like that. Okay, So we rely on it being happy as a singer in the right position, really hanging out in the best possible way. So what he says here is that... Um, Many singing teachers are so focused on immediate improvements in the voice that they do not give due attention to the overall conditions on which the vocal organ relies. Some teachers, for example, focus largely on placing the voice or opening the throat, both of which tend to improve the suspensory support of the larynx. 
the sensory support of the larynx, but the context within which the larynx is suspended is our upright support system, we as human beings that is, which is the crucial background within which the proper suspension of the larynx takes place. In fact, all of the qualities that we look for in singing, a properly suspended larynx, an open throat, a raised and flexible palate, um, a bright face and breathing that has been restored to its full flexibility are ultimately based on the upright system, support system on which an activated vocal system depends. So you can do as much of a warm up as you like, basically, but if you've not got a real feel for what your proper posture should be, then there's there are problems, there could be problems over time that develop and as we all mature um, we want to take care of our vocal instrument which is really my big thing about helping singers to stay vocally healthy and has been for a long time. Alright, so we're coming towards the end of our 30 minutes, okay, um, and now within the five essentials we've covered posture, uh, breathing, that is a huge subject, you're just touching on it here. And then we've done a little bit about um, onset, you've already done onset actually with your lip trills because you made a sound. Um, we've done lip trills which requires lots of things to come together. And before we finish, we're going to talk about the NG hum. We're going to do some NG hums to see how that's hanging. Okay, and within the NG hum is the notion of onset even more. Okay. So we're not making it ultra complicated today. This is you on your own doing your warm up and you're checking these vocal facts out. You're making sure that you're connecting, that you're thinking about your body. Um, and although your instrument is here, the larynx is in here, right? This and the rest of you is your instrument also. This is a very important factor, how we feel how we think about our singing, okay. All right, so NG hums, just remind yourself if you don't already know what an NG hum is. It's just mm, like sing, the NG sound at the end of that word or any word ending I-N-G. And it's gonna involve your jaw mm, and your tongue. Mm. So the test is if you can do an mm and Pinch your nose and it immediately stops the sound. You know you're doing an NG hum correctly. Sing! It should just abruptly stop. Okay, now if you've got that, okay, we're going to do the same thing. All right, we're going to do um, fifths first of all. And we're just sliding up and down. Remember, this is you doing your warm-up, just checking you've got everything uh, uh, organised. And your jaw is the focus here. We don't want any movement forward of the jaw or over opening it should be nice and relaxed mm. okay here we go so we're going to start here uh, we're going to do mm, really simple mm. okay you ready so time to think about your posture you think about your jaw how's your tongue feeling mm. off we go ready everybody and routine okay like with all the exercises part of the rhythm of a routine the natural pulse of it is really important because you need your body to get used to responding just like we do in music okay so in between each one of these you get a point where you've sung and you've come back to the bottom and then you need to release to let the air in all you have to do is with the the back of your tongue which is reaching up and touching the soft palate with the mm, 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 sorry, just looking down my mouth. Mm, is you just allow the 
the um, contact of the back of your tongue with the soft palate to just drop away. Mm. And as you drop it away, you can feel the air being sucked in and that should be enough. So we shouldn't see any kind of drop off and back up again, drop off and back up again. You should be just like a swan sailing along. Okay, so we're gonna go back to here. I'm gonna start there, still doing fifths. All right, just check your posture. Think about, you know, your, your rib cage should be hanging from your spine, not drooping. So use those back muscles to pull us upright. We require those more and more and more as we get, as we mature. Ready? Here we go. Ready? And. stressed out because you know I'm going to be asking you to do we start on A below middle C you're going to be doing an octave okay so for some of us have passaggio issues there which is like the little bit in your voice your range where it's not very happy okay and that is purely a muscular thing that is sometimes holding on to tension muscle contraction and then letting go all of a sudden and it goes Ugh! Okay, and you get a little yodel. So how are we doing for range? Okay, when you're doing your warm up, you must still investigate things that you feel uncomfortable with. But of course, this is where one-to-one -one mentoring comes in because you do need someone just to check you out. Okay, here we go, ready? And check your posture. from the middle C here up to an E. Mm, we might go down actually because in songs we often have to go that far a tenth and it you know you see it on the music you think well okay all right you don't get that so much I guess in some sorts of repertoire We're certainly doing classical music of course it's de rigueur you expect to see it okay so now we're going to do tenths. So really sliding and no extra push, funny expressions, digging in with the jaw, you know, watch out. Get yourself a mirror so you're singing into, you can see your reflection. It's easy for me because I can see me. Well, it's in some respects easy. Okay. Are you ready then? So just check your posture. Just coming up to the end of your warm up. Okay, we've been working for about 25 minutes at the moment. Here we go, ready, and... of what would be a uh, witness by the way folks this is a very 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 basic kind of vocal warm-up because I don't really know within you know the if people who are watching now I know two people really well um, but I'm not quite sure how you're feeling about your singing so it would be nice to have some feedback but this is a very basic basic okay we've not done any vowels not any scales nothing like that but 
Um, Suze particularly asked for something very basic just to get her started thinking about stuff. Um, and um, if you do belong to the 30 Days of Singing, which you must do, back there are some, uh, some videos from previous years which you could probably access. Um, but never mind, we, we, we've got more sessions coming in April, during April. Okay, so what we do in Virtually Vocalese uh, to finish our sessions of is really nice. Okay, uh, lip trills again, but you could do rolled R's or you could do, actually Sophie likes to do an NG hum to this, but we just basically cool down with... And then we go down progressively work down the keyboard till we're really singing in our boots okay now this is really to do with how well how how happy is your larynx really because I have a big issue about going into my chest area I don't really go there a lot as a soprano and it makes me feel slightly anxious when I have to but we've been really working on this idea of keeping there's such a thing as a um, laryngeal tilt right keep your everything nice and free and moving and everything and this exercise is cool down really helps to kind of work things out so here we go folks nice little cool down and then we will finish here we go I told you it'd be 30 minutes ish here we go ready and <laughs> bottom B below middle C so not next door to middle C but whole octave in the note so we've done one actually went up to a G in one of the exercises so you've done about a one two and a half octaves if you manage to stay with me okay now that's pretty really quite comprehensive you could warm up your voice with just lip trills or just a bit of breathing as long as it's something that is physical and gets you thinking you get this correlation between the mind and the body it's called neuroplasticity folks and that's um, actually if you go back into 30 days of singing you'll see there was another link today to a SoundCloud audio file that you can listen to and it's all about how we actually learn to do this stuff nice and gently over a long period of time. It's the best way. Baby steps, short, sharp learning steps. Okay, all right, so let me know how you got on. If you've got any questions, just ask. But until next time, look after that voice. Really think about that issue of posture in everything you do, everything. Okay, thanks very much then. Until next time, I'll say bye for now. Bye, everybody. Bye.